Hey guys, Zach here. Welcome back. So, I came back in here and there was an update that they did to the game and it basically said that your save game is corrupt or might not be able to be played as intended. I, I loaded it up, it loaded fine, but they've changed so much that I think maybe it'd be better just to start fresh. So that's what we're going to do. Um, they've added coins instead of reputation, so there's like a currency change. They've changed the skill tree and they take it from five groups down to four. Um... They've added, uh, they've changed the way the cat catastrophes work. They're a little more gradual. And um, there's a few other little things that they've done as far as just uh, general improvements. So we're going to start a new game. I'm going to leave uh, tutorial stuff on just for later in the game. There's still a couple of tips that they throw my way. But uh, let's go ahead and let's see here. We'll just kind of set up the way we did before. Uh, no, I'm going to go middle of the road. You know what? Let's do that. Common catastrophes, that's fine. Trusted cards finally broke down, so we start with fewer resources. So, band of survivors able to take care of themselves. So, we start off with one less adult and one less child. Um, let's see here. Our ideology keep the colony running and growing, I think. Or discover more in the colony and around it. Get more out of what you got. Hardy survivalist kind of sounds good. Yeah, let's do that path is challenging but worth the risk so this is our gatekeeper all right let's do survivalist all right and uh, as you can see here the icons have all been sort of refreshed a little bit too so a little bit nicer but we're gonna keep the same thing here green with a with a flat fire on it here and we're just gonna hit this three times on each and see where it lands one two three ping ping I can't pronounce that we have to do one more Ashford okay Two, three, for a better tomorrow. Okay, there we go. Start game. Let's do this. Start fresh. Starting fresh. Just to make sure that we're up to speed. We might have to do this again a few times. I don't know. I'm going to try to get through as many episodes as I can in between up major updates that disrupt the game. But we'll see where, where this takes us. I was kind of attached to my last town. Valentine. Kind of miss Valentine already. Oh well. Starting fresh is always good. All right, here we go. Ten colonists are homeless. Build more shelters. Let's pause this real quick, and let's do just that. Let's build ourselves. Well, first of all, let's take a look at our environment. Something I found out is if you hit F11, it kind of shows you some areas like, for like the fertility of the soil versus like a barren area that's not good for crops. Which I'm guessing this is good for wells. So, and then, but the thing is, it doesn't really tell you what this screen means anywhere. Uh, you hit F11 again, it changes, and I'm not sure what that means. It looks like resources. Like metal and plastic and wood and things like that. You hit F11 again, and it shows what, like, what did, I'm not sure what that is. I'm not sure. And then I'm not sure what that is at all. Everything's just plain yellow. Maybe this is a placeholder. And that one's just a different shade of yellow. And we're back to normal. So F11 sort of gives you that. Um, you can kind of see where it looks like it's got more water in the soil here. But uh, this is not good for crops, obviously. And, but this would be better. So let's go ahead and build ourselves emergency shelters. We're going to build our shelters over here where we're not going to grow anything, right? So, I think we'll do, like, let's say we do, let's do like one here and one here. There we go. Of course, roads are free. So, we'll just, I mean, other than taking up somebody's time. But as far as resources are free, that won't work. Let's move over one. There we go. Across the front. And there we go. Okay, that looks pretty good. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to definitely need a new... Well, let's get that started first. Let's move a little faster there. Basic controls. We're going to dismiss that. Dismiss that one. Nothing new there. All right, so we got two shelters ready to go. I already built the shelters. You can stop pestering me about that. Let's see what happens here. All right, so... Next thing I'm going to build, I, I, we don't have any, we're negative 10 on water. We need, we need wells because in the last 
series. They gave us a well to start. We're going to need two wells to get going here. 71%. That's 100% efficiency right there. So we're going to grab that. Okay. And now that we have a well, we're going to put in a water tower somewhere. That way we can store this water. Because when the... When the... Uh, We'll put it near near one of these houses. When the heat wave happens, it's going to double our water usage. So that will be very important. And then the next thing we're going to need, side work areas. Yeah, yeah. Let me uh, do that real quick here. Good point. Let's expand this out. Let's try to find... There's a lot. It seems like there's a lot more resources within grabbing distance of this. You can almost get all of those. All right, let's go with this. And then let's uh, get some berries from somewhere. Let's see where we want to get our berries. Grab four there. Get like five there. Four there. Not much down here. Okay, let's just... Uh, let's grab these five right here. Build a water source. We've got that covered. Aries effect just took care of that. Now I wonder if this is just a counter that continuously happens, even though we don't have any buddy out on the world map right now. Let's see, yeah, that's just that's what's happening right there. Your colonists. Yes, I understand all that. Thank you. Got our water well completed, so we're now we now have a positive output of water. Storage 150 out of 300. We don't have our well built yet. The next thing after that is going to be the... I'm going to probably build a medic tent next. Oh, actually, yeah. Plastic and... That's right. We need that before we can do too much. So... Yeah, let's tear this thing down. I think... That's 88. How much does this have? 90. Ninety-three. Eighty-six. I'm gonna put this right over here and get both of them, but it's gonna be a long trek back. So let's just start close. Here. There we go. And then let's build ourselves a uh recycler. Let's see where we can find some. Oh nice. Two together. That's awesome. Which is this? How many do we have in here? Is it going to tell me? It's not. Oh, maybe I just... 66 and 69. Okay. Cool. Now, let's build ourselves... Let's pause this. Let's build ourselves a dirt road. Connecting... Some of these. There we go. And uh, we're going to put the other one over here. I build this road almost straight up and get to it. Nice. I like it. All right, let's get. Nope, oh, no. Get rid of that road. That road should get built over top of as soon as this gets built. The problem is we don't have any plastic coming in, so we need this to get built first. And then that. And we'll have some actual resources coming in at this point. Two constructions completed. Good. Should be getting output here now. We do have a worker there. We have a worker there. Wonderful. Food production. Yeah, I'm aware of that. How are we doing on food right now? Berries, jerky. Potato, okay. Uh, what I'm going to do before I build a anything like food, food related to the trapper or the uh, or the fishing hut is I'm going to. Uh, where do I want to put the first fishing hut? Probably up here. It's like my best spot. There's a huge couple of huge lakes up there, though. But right here, I think, is going to be my best bet first. Storage types, yeah. We can build a warehouse. I need to build this, and then I need to build a, a medic tent. Someone will get injured here shortly, I'm sure. Plank deposit complete or depleted. Yeah. we got 22 wood sitting there. We're just waiting on the... Uh, plastic right now. Shouldn't take too long. I 
Just want to keep an eye on the food, make sure we're not going to run low on food. Otherwise, trapper, ca trapper cabin and the uh, fishing hut is going to become a priority. There we go. We got all the resources we need. Start building that sucker. And we can start storing some of this water we're not using. We have a plus five balance. So, as you can see, we're starting to stockpile some water there. It went from 300 up to uh, 320 already. So, it won't take long for us to get up to 1,000. And then we should be able to survive any type of heat wave that comes our way. We're going through these planks like crazy. Crazy fast. I'll have to move soon. Start getting these planks. Okay. Alright, so now that's built. Let's go ahead and start building ourselves a clinic. So we don't have anybody croak on us too soon. And we don't need it super fertile land for that so we will just put it right back here behind the folks homes so they have a loved one that's sick they can easily get to uh, the clinic to visit them get them there quick as well all right so we need some more plastic as usual Colonists want to talk. It's about something something about a landfill. Two colonists pro approach you with sparkling eyes. An old landfill has been found. Probably by the stench. It's not too far from here. Though the smelly smell is absolutely awful. Might have kept the scavengers away from there for until now. Invaluable stuff might still lie among the waste. An expansion or an expedition might prove lucrative, but most definitely dangerous without any equipment. An extra layer of clothing and a set of tools would go a long way in keeping the colonists safe and efficient. Yeah, go ahead. Give them permission and the equipment. Alright. Well, we did get 12 plastic out of it. And one one colonist is infected, but that's okay. We're going to start building that medic tent right away with this 12 plastic they brought back. And he should be able to get treated. So, Two colonists return smelling more, than foul than, more foul than you ever thought possible. The expedition hit a few snags along the way and one of them was rather unsurprisingly caught some sort of disease. They didn't take uh, come back entirely empty-handed. But both are visibly disappointed by the haul. Oh well. Did what you could, man. Did what you could. Okay. Let's see here. We should be good to go now. All that plastic right there. Just take it over there. There we go. Start building it. Construction has started. This won't take too long. This infected... <laughs> oh! It's a little kid. We sent a little kid into the... Landfill? How messed up is that? Yeah, he's got plenty of time. He'll be all right. He's going in there getting treated right now. Now, something, another tip that I learned was if you don't have anybody sick, kick out your medic. Make them go work. If someone gets sick, then hit the add button. Have them go back to work. Don't just have them sitting there doing nothing, twiddling their thumbs. Pretty smart. I like it. So as soon as he gets done, we'll kick him out. As soon as he gets treated. Colonist is infected. Yes, we know. He's getting he's in the medic tent right now. So, let's see. Are we out of planks over here? Getting close. So when this one depletes, we're gonna want to move this up, this circle up here a little bit. Or maybe over here a little bit, actually. There's some up back here. Clear this area out a little bit. Two deposits depleted. Eight, five, three, okay. I wonder if we're talking about this. Yeah, probably the berries. We're still good on food. We're surviving on berries. Huh? Okay, so he's treated. Let's kick him out. Alright, 
Everybody's been treated. Now we have a idle medical tent with nobody in it. So they're out working. Small concrete ruin is gone. Okay, that must be that one up there. And yeah, we're almost done pillaging this area. So let's go and move this work area a little bit. Let's try to move it somewhere like that. Let's do that. So we're still going after that. Finish that one off. And then move on to some brand new ones. I think that's a good idea. All right. Next thing we want to do. Uh, I did want to build a warehouse. Ordered a forester. Ooh. Lumber yard. That seems nice. Gets the job done, huh? So we can grow saplings here. That's kind of nice. Interesting. Let's go do the trapper house first. Work area 100%. That's really close to town. I like that. What if I put it out here? Nothing. It's got to be right in the middle of the dang little forest, doesn't it? <laughs> okay. Let's put it there. Build him a road. To get back to camp. Nice and easy like. There we go. And then we will do a fishing hunt as well. Fishing hut. Right next to the toxic area. <laughs> Rotate. Rotate. You gonna let me you gonna let me in here or not? Maybe not. Needs to be on the shore. Shoot. I'm not gonna have to go all the way up north, am I? Just for, just for some dang old fish. There we go. Ninety two. Hundred percent. I think I am. I have to. Hundred percent there. All right, we'll put it there. A little bit further than I want to be, but it's better than putting it up here. So. What are you quacking at me for? I'll build the gate. Yes. We'll get to that here in a second. Let me get a road going here for this poor fisherman. Morning. Great day for some fishing. All right, let's build this gate. Gate ruins. All right. Can't have that. Yeah, they're getting some of the resources put into place. Planks. Oh, Max is injured, so we better get the uh, old doc back here. Oh, it's a different doc doctor. We have more than one doctor. How are we doing on water now? Oh, yeah, we got almost a thousand in storage. Look at that. With a plus five balance. That's good. I'll be adding a, once we get a few more colonists joining us, I'll add, I'll add another well. It won't take too long, I don't think. Much longer, I'm treating this injury. Okay, here we go. So we only have two medicines left. Can't do too much of that, about that until we start actually going out and exploring. Trading and things like that, so... Maybe I should avoid sending people out on expeditions where they get irradiated or injured until we actually have like a nice stockpile of medicine. Maybe they'll still get treated at the clinic. They'd just be slower. I don't know. So, okay. Mm -hmm. Now you can, you can go now. Get back to work. <laughs> Put you back to work. Nuclear fallout. That sounds like a bad catastrophe. The horizon starts turning from blue to toxic green and the air seems to burn 
your lungs. These are the first signs of impending danger. Intense radiation is a constant threat with both colonists and crops withering and dying due to nuclear fallout. New seeds cannot be planted before it's over. Severe cases of radiation sickness and thirst take their toll on everyone. Harvest crops before they wither. Gather iodine pills from the world map. Oh, can't do that yet. <laughs> to cure radiation sicknesses quickly. I don't have any specialists to do that with. Build more medic tents or assign more workers to the existing ones to help those who are in need. Okay, well, I have one medic tent. I don't know what else I can do. I guess I can build one more. Um, oh, a group of survivors are at our gate. That's good. Okay, let's see what how crazy these people are. Five adults, one ch child. They're bringing four fish, three tools, and six jackets. That seems pretty good. You don't know how good you have it here. I've seen fire all across the horizon. By morning, all that was left was a dark, endless, endless ash. Except reject, ignore. So we're going to get Orca. She's got the right color hair, man. I'm saying. She's idling. She's a scout. That's her specialty. There's one big thing that sets her apart from the rest of the scouts. Water. While the other sea river, where other, while other sea rivers and lakes is obstructions for Orca, they are an advantage. Whether she has a boat with her or has to build one, finding a waterway means that she'll get to her destination significantly faster. Oh, okay. That's kind of cool. So let's see here. Leadership two, exploration five, obviously. Attack two, or attack is one. Research two, so she's not going to get like much for science points multipliers. Uh, scavenge is three, recovery is three. All right, uh, yeah, of course we're going to take her. We need the extra bodies anyway. All right, so we can access the world map finally. Let's send her out on a mission. Where do we want to send her? Oh, it's water. I think we have to send her up there, don't we? We have to, right? <laughs> Yeah, go check this area out up here. You can't? What, is it too much water? You're a freaking whale. Come on. You like large bodies of water. Apparently, apparently I can't scout that one. Yeah, it won't let me. It won't let me scout that one. Okay. Um. Well, everything else looks like it's freaking landlocked. Maybe I should... That's a lake. That's what that is. Let's go check this out. This city. This, like, ravaged city. What we got here? Ooh, worms? What the hell is this? Buffalo worms. I have no idea. Never seen them before. This is new to me. I'll look another body of water, but I can't do anything with that, apparently. I have a a, a, a green haired Navy SEAL, G.I. Jane over here, but I can't do anything with these water bodies of water. Oh well. Let's head on back to the world map. She's about ready to move again, isn't she? Look at her. It's going quick. Structure complete on the gate. Low on tools. Six colonists are homeless. We'll fix that real quick. Let's have her go check that out. Zero percent chance of getting hurt. I don't know what buffalo worms do, but... Uh, okay, we have... She has buffalo worms. Alright, let's build some more houses real quick here. Uh, where do I want to I'm going to build it up here. Yeah. Build it right there. Nuclear fallout. Beginning in one one uh, one day. That's great. Oh, man. I need another medical tent, but I really don't have the resources for it. I need, I need a shelter. I need emergency shelter for my people before I need another medical tent. That's more important. You'd think if you, in a pinch, you'd be able to just put people in here, give them some sleeping bags, have them cuddle up in there. Heck, even the the trapper and the fishing hut, all these could be used as temporary living spaces. All right, there we go. We got them. At least we got them a house before the nuclear fallout hits. Jeez, specialist ready for action. All right, where do we want to send you now? Let's let's keep. Let's check our perimeter here. I want to have you actually go, I think, clockwise. Let's do clockwise. What you got? Ooh, tools. 0% chance of danger down there. All right. Looks good to me.
Not a big fan of this nuclear fallout. We're all gonna get sick. It's gonna suck. Probably lose most of the new people that we got. Yeah. Let's see how we're doing up here. Still doing good? Pretty good. We can move it up a little bit. Maybe grab some more resources, though. Let's move this resource. Let's see if we can grab a few more. What is that? Large concrete room. 18. Wood, wood, wood. Concrete. Okay. Yeah, let's do that. Let's let's get add this bit of planks here to the mix. Nuclear fallout. Oh, here it comes. Let's get let's get our doctor ready. Might as well stay in there, Doc. I don't want my Doc getting radiated. I wonder if I can... I wonder if I can... I wish I could stop these people from working. That would be kind of nice. You know, just keep them inside. Like, ring the town bell. Have everybody disappear inside. I don't know. I don't think I can. Some noises come from the gate. Hmm. Yeah, I bet you guys wanted... Peace of the past. You see a person wrapped in layers of cloth, rubber, and mud standing at the gate. There's a slight, slight twitch behind their goggles as you approach. Need things? Trade me. This, I know, is unique. The person says it starts unpacking a mysterious item standing on a wooden cart, revealing a pristine-looking computer protected by plates of lead. Oh. Except a computer. So it only costs us two fish, and we get almost 200... Research points? Yeah. I'm all about the research points. Takes a couple of colonists to lift the computer off the cart. The mysterious person accepts the food with their gloved hands and piles it into their cart. Goodbye, old friend, the person says, and he returns turns around as the computer is carried inside. Okay, interesting. So we have tech tree now. Specialist ready for action. Let's have her dash down here and get some more goodies for us. Did she get all 31? She only got 15? Oh man, we're going to have to use two turns to get all the stuff from there? Okay. Whatever. Okay, now let's see what we want to do here. Survival skills, basic farming. So our uh, fishing hut and trapping is going to go up in production speed it costs us 50 and then after that 100 so yeah we'll be farming here soon as soon as the nuclear fallout ends of course fortunately we're having to deal with that so let's do that first see how they they've made it now four so they're not the, there's four columns rather than or four um, groups rather than five so Oh, they can start off with nurses, huh? Work slots in the medical tent. That seems more important right now. Yes. And what does medical training do? Healing speed's up 50%. Those two seem like really important. Let's do that. That might come in really handy because I can basically just double my output of my medical tent as people become sick. I love that. Berries depleted. Uh-oh. See here. Oh, no more berries. You see the red circle? That means there's nothing being harvested in that whole area. So, let's move our work area. Oh, uh, there's only two down there. I think there's a few up here, wasn't there? Yeah, let's go up here now. There we go. Two colonists are radiated. Okay, so we can treat those two right now. And did we actually get... We're still work, waiting on the research for the nurses. I think we're good. We have somebody there, yes. Just want to double check. Patient slots, two. We got one patient in there. Two patients. We don't have any more space for the time being. Why are they idling? Treat them. 
three, four colonists now. All right, specialist ready for action. Grab some more of those tools. Okay. Please tell me they're getting treated. Yes, they are. Shouldn't be too long for the uh, nurses. I can add one more here in a minute. There we go. Medical training, let's speed that up if possible. There we go. Now we just, patient slot should increase. There we go, get in there. What? Oh, maybe it treats them twice as fast as the thing. Okay, that's fine. I got that, okay. Six are irradiated. So they're each treating one patient. That didn't double the amount of patients I could have. Just treating them faster. Okay, plank deposit depleted, but there's still plenty more up there. Specialist ready for action. Check this area right here. Ah, nice. Some science points. 514, whoa. I, thought, I didn't think she was that good with her science points. I think that's the most I've ever seen. Good for her. All right. Someone wants to venture outside the gate. Yeah, really? In the nuclear storm? Hunting opportunity. Let him go for a hunt. Um, or decline the request. Let's see here. A couple of colonists approach you requesting permission to open the gate. They've heard animal noise is not too far away. I'd like to go hunting. It's dangerous business where people might get injured or worse. But the food come, could come in handy. Let them, let them go. The hunters return with meat. There was indeed, I heard, some uh, ways outside the gate grazing the glowing grass. Their crude uh, tactics paid off and the colony received a nice haunch of meat. 21 meat. Nice. That was good. Five colonists irradiated. I hope I don't lose anybody. She's not doing so well. We're doing the best we can. That's all, all we can. Now we're up to seven. Oh, this natural disaster sucks. Okay, I don't think I can build another. I do have enough. Okay, let's do it. Let's see if I can get this built. At least we'll be ready for the next horrible event. Oh, colonist has died. Our specialist is ready for action. She's got 200 of them. It's going to take her several turns to get all of it, but it'll, it'll be worth it. Let's see here. Okay, those are unlocked. Communal living. Safer than tents and emergency shelters. They offer better protection against radiation. Where have you been all my life? Okay. Let's see here. Tenement and shanty. Heavy tarps. I think we're going to go straight for communal living, probably. Let's check around here for a little bit. Survival skills. Pretty good on food for now. Crowbars. So they can scavenge faster. That's kind of important. Exploration, bar bartering, and frontier outposts, of course. It, they've really simplified it, actually, quite well. I think I want to get these guys inside houses as pretty much as fast as I can, but the thing is, I probably need to be able to scavenge resources faster to make those houses. So I think I'm going to go with this first. Scavenger teams. Oh, I can actually add to the work slots. And uh, yeah, reclaimable materials will probably be my next one because then we can get extra metal for the scrapper. The earlier, earlier we do that, the more benefit we get from it. So, okay. 
Looks good. All right, guys, I'm looking here at the time. We're up uh, against the clock here, 35 minutes. Oh, hey, look, the storm has passed. Did everyone die? Everyone's everyone's probably going to die. Uh, they've been already. Oh, we got people getting treated here. Let's get another doc. Mm -hmm. We're trying. Another one died. I think we're going to get them, these people treated, hopefully, in time. Okay, looks like they got treated. We lost, what did we lose, two or three? And now I need to build myself a, before we before we cut out of here, I'm gonna build a burial pit somewhere. Somewhere probably crappy. <laughs> there we go, but not too far. I don't want them to have to go too far to see their loved ones. Let's head out here, have her grab some more of these science points from the museum. Head back in. Dead colonists. Yes, I'm aware. Let me try to straighten up my screen there. So it's basically going to tell me, build myself a uh, burial pit before the cor uh, corpse starts decaying and spreading infections. So we'll do that. Make that a priority. Adjusting worker slots. Yeah, we know how to do that. And then let's go ahead and um, nobody here. Let's kick them out. Kick them out, have them get back to work. I will build a road. I know, I'm supposed to be stopping, but you kind of get started doing something in this game, you kind of don't want to stop. There we go. What's going on over here? Proper fortification. Someone seems to have been stealing planks for the storage. You order a few colonists to investigate, and to your surprise, they return with a group of rowdy children, one under each arm. Apparently these kids use planks to build themselves a tree fort in a nearby forest. Uh, leave the fort alone, tear down the fort, and we get five planks out of it. Let's just leave it alone, man. These kids are doing the best they can. They've been dealt pretty crappy cards in life. So, All right, you decide to let the kids have their fun. Who's going to miss a few planks anyways? The children are practically beaming with joy after hearing that their precious fort will be saved. They, <laughs> they thank you profusely. The next day you find a crude yet immensely colorful thank you card tucked under your doorstep, decorated with whatever might pass for finger paint. Done. Happiness plus three. Everyone's happy. All right. We needed that. All right, guys. So I am going to end this episode here. Coming up on the 40 minute mark. Like, comment, subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. I do greatly appreciate it. Y'all take care.